So earlier, this is how my site situation when I try to access it. And if you're also having um, same issue, then you're probably got attack. And I just want to share with you how you can troubleshoot it in case if that happens to you. So I didn't notice that my site got hacked until one of my viewers reached out to me saying that they could no longer access my tutorial. Um, they redirect it. It redirects to a spam page. So obviously this is a spam page. And I just want to share with you how did I troubleshoot that. So the first step you need to do is go into your hosting provider. So in my case, I use Hostinger because it's cheaper and they actually have a good security system. It's just like how I set it up. I, I did not, um, when I installed my WordPress and stuff, I did not add extra security, which is adding an IP address into your HDA access. And also um yeah configure your firewall and just hide your wordpress um login as well so anyway so first step you need to do is you change your password and you add an authentication out so in my case if you are using hostinger you go into the accounts and then go to the secure actually account information and then um security like, yeah, in here. So what I basically do is I change, I added an extra layer to log in to my account, okay? So once you're ready, um, change your password and add a authentication out. Also remove any extra, like if you have an existing FTP access into your account, also remove that. And then, yeah, first step is clean up your login um, credentials, create a fresh password, and um, remove any FTP um, logins and then we can then start troubleshooting or removing some extra files into our account. So in my case, I go into the file manager so you can access that into your website and then um, in my case, go into the manager system and go to the website actually files and then file manager and what i did is obviously i don't want also to remove all like what i have done so far so i temporarily back up all the files coming from public.htm all the files inside the public.html so i i archive it so what to do that you can just right click and click on archive and generate a zip file version okay so and then i just keep the add.txt and google um, authentication for my webmaster because I, I know this is not a malicious files and I also double check the public that H, uh, the, the HTML um, it's actually a, it's clean nothing suspicious in that file so I know that these two are clean files already but then when I go into to like to my site before I mean this still looks spammy because I haven't cleared the cache but like before when I haven't fixed it it keeps redirecting to the spam website. And then what I notice as well is when I try to, every time I go into the site and refresh my file manager, it generated an, uh, a PHP file called create auto login.php. So if, and uh, it seems like, like in that case, when I, when I notice it, it keeps adding that PHP thing. I know there is a backend injection happening. So yeah, first step is change all your password and then back up all your files. Next is you can go to your DNS zone editor. If you found a suspicious, then delete that. Or what you can do is just reset your DNS records. And in my case as well, I use a cloudflare so i went over to cloudflare and then when i check on the because it seems like it's redirecting to this page and because my site is already clean so there's something wrong with the redirection so when i go into my cloudflare and go to the um go to the site and go into the rules and redirect i see something in here that called ggg.ggg which means that my cloudflare got hacked so so something 
they injected something into my Cloudflare. So what I did is I deleted that. It's already removed. But earlier there is a the GGG redirect there. And then after I deleted the URL, I went over to the cached and go in. Oh, before you delete something, so you delete that. And then you need to change your password. You need to change your password and add another authenticator out um, for added layer of security. And then you can then start um, caching it, purging the cache. So go to the caching and go to the cache rules and um, go to the caching and go to the configuration and click on purge everything. So if I go into um, incognito mode and go to the bookwormhead.com um, this is exactly what I want to happen because like obviously it's a 403 error because we I haven't I don't have any files into my file manager so in that case then I can add I can add back my um, files in here but I need to double check if there's also an injection in that so maybe what I'm gonna do is just create a fresh, um, install the fresh website and then import back my database, um, my my SQL um, into the database. So that's how you can troubleshoot a malware. Right now, WordPress, like, WordPress is super vulnerable, so make sure you add a uh, firewall into your HTA axis. So yeah, so here's what I did. I just extract back the so yeah, so here's what I did. I just extract back all my um, all my files. There's nothing, something I, I don't see any problem. Like if I go in even to the WP admin, I didn't see any malicious files in here. And on the hostinger as well, if you want to double check, you can rescan again your website. They're currently like 100% malicious, but you can rescan it again. And yeah, make sure um, if it's already clean, add an extra layer of your website, adding an HD, adding an I, uh, isolating your login, had adding a firewall, and then hiding your login would be super helpful for you to avoid this, you know, this headache. And if I go in, because I already put back my site, Actually, if I go into the incognito mode, type in bookworm head, I should be able to see my um, my link. So currently, this one is 404. I probably need to double check that there's something wrong with my permalink. But yeah, that should be an easy fix. And yeah, so um, if you are having same problem and this process fixed your issue, hope you can comment down below let me know and if there's something you want to add up as well um, comment down below um, and let's help each other